went to Paige on a whim. It's been on my travel list for a while, but I really didn't know where I was gonna go after Zion. I try to keep my next destinations within a three hour drive, and that's when I realized I was pretty close to Paige. Now this video is gonna be way too short, and that makes me so sad because I had such an incredible time in Paige. But I made the dreaded error of deleting the footage that I took in Paige off of my camera, thinking that it was already on my external hard drive, and it was not. And I didn't realize it until way too late and I couldn't get the footage back. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I do still have some footage, but it's mostly photos. But I have to tell you, these photos do not do Paige justice. When I say you need to go to Paige, you need to go to Paige. Let's start with the incredible tour I took of Antelope Canyon. There are two different places that you can go, the upper canyon or the lower canyons. And after reading some people's reviews, I decided that I wanted to try the lower canyons. The tours of both canyons are only done by tribal members. The canyons are on tribal land and they have a no video rule. You can take as many photos as you want, but again, there's no videos. These slot canyons that you see have been sculpted by millions of years of wind and water erosion, resulting in narrow passageways, smooth curves, and intricate wave-like formations etched into the vibrant Navajo sandstone. First, I stayed at Lone Rock Campground. I was meaning to stay over by Marble Canyon, but the boondocking spot I pulled up to had absolutely no cell signal for me, so I had to try a different spot. Lone Rock is a paid camping area. I kind of panicked at the gate and bought three nights, not knowing that there was an incredible boondocking spot right across the street. After my three nights were up, I made the journey across the street to a spot called the Corrals. This area was so cool. It was tucked up against a mountain that had a bunch of little caves that you could go and explore. But be forewarned, because this is not a big boondocking spot. There was maybe a spot for about 10 rigs, and a couple of those spots were only reachable via a van. But if you're in the area and you're planning to boondock, at least check it out to see if there's space. There is so much to do around Paige, from those amazing slot canyon tours, to exploring the Glen Canyon recreation area in Lake Powell, to the infamous Horseshoe Bend, and even some amazing food spots like the Birdhouse. But my absolute favorite thing to do in Paige, which is a very high contender for my favorite thing I've done on all of my full-time travels, is paddleboarding into the slot canyons. I still recommend doing either the upper or lower slot canyon tours, but if you have the time, you have to do this. You can launch a kayak or a paddleboard from Antelope Point Marina and make your way via the water into some slot canyons that you don't have to pay to visit. I had the most incredible time doing this. I spent six hours paddleboarding and exploring the slot canyons and I honestly wish I had gotten there earlier in the day so I had more time to explore. Once you launch from the marina, you'll be in a high traffic area with a lot of other boats. So if you're on a paddleboard, make sure to be sitting down during this section. Once you round this big bend, there will be an opening on your left in the canyons of a waterway that you can take to the slot canyons. Boats are allowed in this area, but it's a no wake zone, so the water is really calm. Depending on your speed and vessel, it'll take you a little over an hour to get to the place where you hike into the slot canyons. It took me a little longer than an hour to do this because as soon as I was in this no wake section, I could not stop taking photos and videos and just admiring the canyons. I was in absolute awe the entire time. The canyon walls are so tall and the water is so clear. Here's a photo of me a stranger took so you can see just how high the canyon walls are and just how small I am. Where you park your kayak or paddleboard will depend on the time of year. Sometimes the water is higher, meaning you have to paddleboard or kayak further in. Other times the water is lower, meaning you have to hike further to get to the slot canyons. But once you arrive, you'll pull your vessel up, park it on the side, and hike your way into the canyons. Are these canyons as tight as the ones that you would see on the paid tour? No. Are they still spectacular? Yes. 
At one point, you do have to climb a ladder to access the next section, so make sure to be aware of that. I hiked about three miles in before I turned around, but you can hike much further than that. If you are willing and able, you have to do this. There are a few places in town that you can rent a kayak or paddleboard from, so if you don't have one with you, you can rent it there so you can still experience this. If you do a rental, I definitely suggest an overnight rental because I did see people having to turn around because they had to be aware of the time to make it back to the rental place before it closed. Trust me when I say you do not want a time limit on this adventure. I hope my pictures were enough to convince you to go to Paige to make your own memories and to take your own videos. I will absolutely be going back to Paige to experience it all again. And when you go, please leave a comment below so I can know that you loved it just as much as I did. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Nadia? Nadia? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Goober.